Hi, it's Laura Morley here from Toddler Talk NZ. And today I want to give you a little tip to do with taking your child out to a cafe or somewhere where they have to wait a lot, for example, at the doctor's surgery. Now, if you're anything like me, um, you're kind of racing around everywhere and then you finally get to a place where your toddler needs to sit down for a period of time. And unfortunately, that can be a little bit of an unrealistic expectation. And I'm often quite disorganized. So then I get to that place and I say the cafe and I think, oh, I just want to sit down and have a coffee with my friend and I just want this to be a really positive experience and I've got my kid in the buggy and that's all fine except they want to get out. So I might buy them a biscuit um, or I might have some snacks on hand like raisins and fruit or something that I put out for them to eat. And that kind of feels like it lasts about two or three minutes. <laughs> It probably is longer, but at the time it feels like a really, really long, a short stretch of time. And then I think, well, what am I going to do with my toddler? Because I don't want them harassing all the people at the doctor's surgery or in the line at the bank or um, at the cafe. I want them to be close to me, but they start getting really bored and they start kind of running around and wanting to do stuff that they're not supposed to do. So if you've got a toddler like that, then I want to share with you a really quick tip today that I hope is really going to be helpful for you. And that is getting yourself a little box. Um, I've used an ice cream container because I thought a lot of people would have that at their house. But if you don't have an ice cream container, then just any kind of plastic container would do. Um, you might also want to use some kind of bag, you know, if you've got a material bag. You could keep this in your buggy or you could keep it in your car, somewhere where you're going to be out. It's probably a bit unrealistic to keep it in your bag unless you've got a big nappy bag, then that would be fine. But you want to have something that you can just kind of pick up and go with wherever you are. And in it, I've gone around and I've collected some stuff that you could think about putting into your little box. And I think these little boxes keep our little people busy and distracted in times where they need to wait. So in here, for example, I've got some pipe cleaners. And these are really great if you're going to get your toddler to do some threading. So what you could do is you could go to the $2 shop and get some beads. You want them to be nice wooden big ones with a big hole in them. Um, and it's a lot easier to use pipe cleaners than it is to use string when you're doing threading. So I find pipe cleaners quite good. And of course, they're great to have in your box because they can do different things with them. So having a couple of pipe cleaners in there will work really, really well. Another thing in my little box um, I love this yogurt that I get from the supermarket and I love the containers, they're a really, really good size. And you can make a little bit of Play-Doh or you could get some from the shops and just have it on hand. And this particular Play-Doh is really, really good because it's not all grainy. So I'm not going to be too worried if it sits um, in the cafe, I'm not gonna think it's gonna end up all over the floor because I've just got a little handful of it for, for my child. And what you can do is you can actually use the lid of the container to be the place where the Play-Doh goes on top of. So they can just be sitting up at a high chair or something next to you um, at the table and they can just be playing with the Play-Doh there. So that one works really, really well. And then with the Play-Doh beside it, you can also have some little things for them to stick in their Play-Doh. So you could have some counters. Um, or some beads again that you could use like the bead threading ones um, you could use things like um, collecting your milk bottle lids and your drinks lids putting some of those inside and the kids can put little bits of play-doh inside it or they can stick this on top of it so this is really cool um, they could use that um, they could make little cupcakes with their play-doh so just a couple of these from the pantry will do for them to be able to make their cupcakes and my kids love having candles so I'll, I'll put candles in them as well, or you could use cotton buds or something like that. Anything where they can have the Play-Doh inside and be sticking things in it. Um, you could also put a little plastic knife in there, which I've got in my little box, um, to help them with their Play-Doh. Obviously, it's not going to be sharp, so all of these things they can pretty much play with independently. Um, if you've got a kid who loves vehicles, then you might want to think about putting um, some vehicles in there, and these only are in the little play box. And so because they don't play with them very often, they'll be quite excited about running their little digger over their Play-Doh world that they've made or, you know, having their car on the table and making a little track for the car. Um, having any kind of tubes are great. This one's obviously a, a toilet paper roll that's 
that's um, empty. So I put that in so the cows could go through it as a little tunnel or they could use this um, to do something with their Play-Doh as well. If you had some kind of felts or um, some twistable crayons, they could decorate their little... Um, their little thing here and then they could do something with the um, pipe cleaners to make something so this is going to be really nice and easy and I love pom-poms as well I think pom-poms are great so you could actually get them to thread the pom-poms through you could get them to stick the pom-pom onto their cupcake that they've made using play-doh um, there is a world of opportunities so what I'm trying to say is that there are a whole lot of everyday run-of-the-mill things that you probably have in your house that if you went around and put it into a box and you had one of these boxes and you set it in your car and you knew that you were going out somewhere that there might be some waiting time if you had a little box of little activities that they can do you're going to find that you feel so much more relaxed I know the natural thing would be to have a whole lot of coloring things like have a coloring book with some crayons but what I find personally with my toddler is that they weren't really into that until they got a little bit older. They might do a little bit of colouring or a bit of scribbling and then they would once again be climbing all over the seats and annoying the person next to them and running off somewhere. So I actually found it better if it was something which was more hands-on and playful where there were little toys. So I encourage you this week to go around and, and to start a little box that you can use to help you in those waiting times and these are great as an alternative to just giving your child your phone and saying oh do you want to play with this game to keep them quiet because once you start doing that if you give them your phone then they're going to want to use it all the time and they start to become quite obsessed with it so if you can try and avoid giving them your phone or your iPad and instead giving them a box of little activities with lots of bits and pieces that they can play with you're going to find it a whole lot easier if you found this really useful then I'd love you to comment below and let me know um, what's worked for you. If you have your own little box of stuff that you use for cafes or other places or you put one together as a result of this video, take a photo of it and post it so that we can see and we'll share some more ideas together. Have an awesome day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!